is the difference between major and minor? That's right, that's what we're going to talk about today in today's lesson. My name is Reema and welcome to this lesson. So I'm going to take you through the various meanings of these two words, major and minor. That's right. Now these words may seem fairly average and simple, but trust me, they have a lot of meanings and can be used in many different ways. So the first part is when the word major means either large or important or serious. So if I say I have a major problem, it means I have a serious problem. Now this is where the word major means serious. Now if I say something like my friend heads a major company, which means my friend heads a large company. That's why the word major means large. And if I say something like, my father is going through a major surgery, it means that my father is going through an important surgery. Now, this is where the word major means important. So, a serious problem could be like someone having an accident or a sickness or a serious health issue. So if I say somebody is majorly sick or somebody has a major illness, it means that the illness is very serious. Now, if I say that some businessman has a major stake in a company, it means that the businessman has a large stake in the company and the word major is being used to denote the word large. Now when I talk about a major surgery, now it could be like a surgery related to the brain, a surgery related to the heart and that would be a major or an important surgery. So that's how versatile the word major is. It can mean large or important or serious depending on the meaning of the sentence. So what then has minor got to do with things? Well, minor happens to be equally versatile. So the word minor can mean small or not so important. or not so serious. So if I come home and I say, I faced a minor issue at work, it means I had a small issue or a small problem to deal with at work and this is something that can get taken care of very easily. But if I say something like, I'm going through a minor surgery tomorrow and I'd like to take the day off. It means I'm going through a surgery, but it's not a major surgery. It's a minor one, which means it's not so serious. You know, it could be like a dental extraction, which can be termed as a surgery, but we all know it's not as serious as, say, a heart surgery. So the word minor takes on the meaning of not so serious when I call it, when I use it alongside the word surgery. Also, it takes on the meaning small when I use it with a word like an issue or a problem or a situation. 
Now the third way in which the word minor can be used, it can be used to convey something that is not so important. So it's important but not that important. So you could say something like, well uh, my friend Beth actually had a minor accident. So which means Beth actually, you know, tripped while walking and she's quite okay and has no injuries. But had Beth had a very serious accident, I would have said Beth had a major accident. But because her accident was not so important or not so serious, I use the word minor. So once again, the word minor can be used to convey something that is small, something that is not so important or something that is not so serious. So I'm sure you can make out the clear difference between the words major and minor. They're almost like opposites of each other and that's how they're used in sentences. But this is not the only way to use these words. Moving on, major and minor can also talk about age. So when I say that a person is a major or has reached majority age, it means in most countries, according to the legal and civil definition, that the person is above 18 years of age. Now, in some countries, this could be, you know, maybe 16. In some countries, this could be 18. It depends on the country. And when I call a person a major or I say that a person, say John, has reached majority age, it means that John is now 18 years of age and for all practical purposes, this person is considered an adult. So once you're an adult, you get the right to drive, you're allowed to drive you're allowed to vote in some countries. You're also allowed to get married in some countries depending on the age limit that has been set in that particular country. So the word major can also denote a person's age or the legal age of being an adult in a particular country. So what then does the word minor mean? So minor is someone who is not considered an adult by law so in some countries this could be you know somebody who is below 16 years or in other countries it could be somebody who is below 18 years of age so this person is again not given permission by law to carry out certain activities such as driving you know such as probably voting or such as getting married so that's the meaning of the word minor when it comes to a person's age. It means somebody who is not considered an adult by the law of the country, somebody who could be below 16 years of age or 18 years of age. So here again, the difference between major and minor is very clear. Major is somebody who's considered an adult by the law and minor is somebody who is not considered by an adult by the law yet. Now the third way in which the words major and minor can be used is related to college education. So 
major as in your college major means the subject that you are majoring in or specializing in a subject you know on which you are carrying out an intensive study in your college course so some people are finance majors some people are history majors which means finance or history is their specialization so if i take up a course which gives me an intensive study of history for say 3 years or 4 years i could easily and comfortably say that my college major was history similarly if i have to use the word minor in terms of college education so your minor means your college minor or a subject that you may study so you could have finance as your major and art as your minor you could have history as your major and dance as your minor which means you did study art you did study dance but not as intensively so a college minor is something that you study alongside your college major but a college major is the most important specialized subject that you undertake and you may or may not have a college minor so that's the difference between major and minor in term, terms of college education and lastly for all the music lovers out there major and minor in terms of music yes so when it comes to music major means a major chord and minor means a minor chord now what is a chord in music a chord is actually three or more musical notes played together and there are types of chords some chords are major chords depending on which note is included and some chords are minor chords depending on which notes are included so major chords actually form the most important part of the tune and minor chords end up supplementing the tune so that's right when it comes to music when you say you know that was a major it meant that was a major chord or that was a minor meant that was a minor chord so if you're playing the guitar or you're practicing the piano you could use major and minor in terms of musical chords so that's all about the difference between major and minor and whoever thought that these two tiny words could have so many different meanings and usages i really hope that you enjoyed today's lesson and if you want access to many more lessons make sure that you subscribe to our channel this is me reema signing out saying bye bye and take care